When we send a mission to Mars to search for ancient life, where should it land? A crater filled with glass. Yes, glass might be a good place to start. Hello, I'm Ian O'Neill, space producer for Discovery News, and today I wanted to take a quick trip to the surface of Mars. As depicted in the awesome looking trailer for the new Matt Damon movie, The Martian, the red planet looks like a barren and poisonous place. To survive, Damon's character must science the out of his temporary habitat to survive after being left for dead by his crew. But as our armada of space robots are showing us, Mars hasn't always been this dry and deadly environment that it is now. Mars was once a wet world, containing all the ingredients for life, and it looks like meteorite craters may be the best place to look for ancient life forms that could have evolved millions of years ago. We all know that the red planet is littered with craters and interesting geological features, and it just so happens that NASA is getting very familiar with the minerals that cover the Martian surface. In new research, one particular instrument on board NASA's Re Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter called CRISM has been used to look deep into a few impact craters to look for glass. But why glass? Well, in 2014, researchers headed by Brown University found glass deposits in the bottom of an Argentinian impact crater that was formed millions of years ago. Entombed inside the glass was organic material that was existing on the site when the meteorite hit Earth. Glass can form when minerals in rock are exposed to sudden heating, so the extreme impact pressures and searing heat generated during a meteorite impact can produce certain types of glasses. Like those Jurassic-era mosquitoes entombed inside amber, any ancient organic matter can be frozen in time within this glass, providing us with a cool look into a biological time capsule dating back millions of years. So by turning their gaze to Mars, researchers have pondered whether Mars also has glass in its craters, potentially also containing biosignatures of hypothetical ancient Mars life. But the chemical signature of glass on Mars is very hard to detect. In an effort to confront this, the Brown team put similar powdered minerals found on Mars into an oven and heated it to form glass in the lab. They then studied the light reflected off the glass to measure its spectroscopic fingerprint. Then using CRISM over on Mars, the researchers sought out regions on the red planet that generated a similar fingerprint when compared to the lab sample. And then they saw it, craters on Mars containing glassy material. The most exciting thing is that one of the craters found to contain glass is Hargrave's crater near a 400 mile long trough in the Martian surface. And it just so happens that this is one of the landing options for NASA's Mars 2020 sample return mission. Should the rover find glass in the area, could that glass contain fossilized remains of ancient Mars microbes inside? Who knows, but it would be really cool to find out. Do you think we should send a manned expedition to search for Mars fossils? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and if you're interested in how we're currently looking for Mars life, check out Amy's recent video. The cells that make up any organism need energy to function, and that energy can't come from nowhere. So the question is, where on Mars might those energy sources be? Thanks for watching and subscribe for more D News every day of the week.